Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to share with you how to use the bow at all by Zutter. Again, this is going to be available at blitzy.com. I'm going to share with you how to create three different types of bows and I'm also going to share with you three different types of ribbons that you can use. And then I'm going to show you just a tip of um, what I do to create uh, my bows using the bow at all. And this is the bow at all board. Again, you got the built-in ruler. The center right here is where you place your pegs. So you got four helping hand pegs in the back. In the center, it goes from zero all the way to nine and three quarter inches. So that depends on how wide you want to create your bow. The front is a quarter inch all the way to nine inches, and that's when you create your double loop, triple loop, and multiple loop bows. The back again is a spool holder with the adjuster. So I'm going to first show you how to create a single loop bow. I'm going to use some scallop lace. I trimmed this is from Craft Supplies One, and I love to work with lace. I incorporate it a lot in my projects, especially the scallop lace is my favorite. And we're going to go ahead and um, create one of those bows. So I'm going to use the helping um, clip, the clip holder here, and I measure about six inches. So again, this is what makes the ruler in front really handy. And then I'm just going to clip it onto this peg. And this peg is at one inch. Okay, so it's at the one inch mark. And then these two pegs is at four inches and seven inches. So basically I'm going to create a three inch bow. Now I'm going to place the lace behind the two pegs. And once you master uh, creating the figure eight, it's pretty much a breeze from there. So I'm going to create the figure eight in slow motion so you can see how to create that. And um, once you create the single bow, you can pretty much do it with the double bow and the triple loop bow. So I'm going to place the lace behind the two pegs, okay? And this is why I place this on the clip, because I want to have both my hands available. I know some ladies don't place it on the clip, but um, I find it so much easier for myself when I place it on the clip. Okay, so I'm going to place the lace again behind the two pegs. I'm going to cross over through the middle and to the back. Okay, you see how I did that? Again, I crossed over to the middle, to the back. And then I went over, like so, and now I place it over the center. Now I'm going to remove this from um, this peg, and now I'm going to place that over the middle, and this creates the center of my bow. Okay. And I just adjust it as I go. And then I slide it underneath. And you can see that I made the center of my bow. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross, um, I'm going to switch my hands basically. So I'm going to place this under and I'm just going to switch. Okay, see how I did that? that over there. And now I'm just going to create a half bow. So it's kind of looks like a letter C. And then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to go over it through the loop. And then I'm going to take my left hand, take this ribbon, and then I'm going to pull. Now I don't pull it tight all the way yet because I like to adjust it and this is why um, they designed the, the bow at all to face you so you can make your adjustments, especially with lace. It's very delicate and you just want it to, to look really nice pretty in the front. Then I just kind of adjust my bow a little bit and then I tighten it. Now you, you want to pull it this way. You don't want to pull it like this or like that. You want to go this way. So now you're going to tighten it up. And then you got yourself a perfect single bow. Okay? And you'll notice when you created a good bow because you have that C in the back. And it's what they call a, a locking C. It creates the letter C in the back. And what's great is that even if you try to pull the bow apart, it won't come apart. And I, I really like that. So you got a, a bow that's 
not going anywhere. Okay? And you notice on the scallop, how the scallop just had a scallop on the bottom. You notice how it's only on the bottom of the bow now? And it's facing the same direction. And that's what I love about it, especially because I use a lot of lace with scallop on the bottom. I always have a perfect um, bow now. Really pretty. So that's how you make the single loop bow. Now we're going to do a double. And you're going to take your other two pegs. You're going to place it at four inches. So I just kind of twist it. And then I take my wrench and I lock it in. And the other one you're going to place at six inches. So this is two inches apart. And again, the back was three. So just twist that in. And then we're just going to lock it. Okay, now we're going to do a double loop. So this time I'm going to take some seam binding. And when you're using the spool, you want to make sure that the ribbon comes from the right side. Okay? Okay, because the seam binding is thin, the clip is not going to hold it, so I'm just going to hold it with my hand. So you're going to place it in the back. And again, you're going to do the figure eight. So do the, so do the figure eight. Now, you're going to do the same thing to the two front pegs. You're going to do the same figure eight. Okay? Now, once you do that, now you're going to go back to the back two pegs to create the figure eight. So cross over the middle and repeat the same thing. And now you're going to do it to the front two. And you're going to go back to the back again. And now you're going to do it to the front. Okay, so that's a triple loop. Now, how you can also notice, too, is that you have the three right here. See, so these are your three loops right here. And then you've got your front three right here, too. Same thing with the other side. You got the three here and the three here. And you'll notice too is when you didn't, uh, when you crossed it correctly is because you could be able to put your finger through here. Now if the ribbon goes, connects to these two, then you know you then it wasn't crossed correctly. So that's how I can also tell too is when I notice there's no ribbon in between here. Okay? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to go over. You're going to take this ribbon, cross over the middle. So that's what creates the center of your bow. You're going to slide it through. Okay, you're going to switch. Create your letter C. Put it through the loop. Then you're going to pull. Okay, I don't pull it tightly tight again because you know you want to adjust your middle, especially with seam binding. It okay, looks good. I'm going to tighten it up. And then you're going to just take your two back, I call them the tails, two back tails. And I'm going to take my precision scissors that come with the set, and then you're just going to cut. Okay? And you're just going to pull it up. And then you've got your triple loop double bow. Pretty. And then the back, again, you can see that letter C. Okay, so that's how you do the triple loop double bow. And now we're going to do a double loop. Same way, you're just going to get a double loop bow. So this time I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use some of this really tiny ribbon here. Again, I'm going to put it in my spool. So you can see you can use really small ribbon, really thick ribbon, and any types of ribbon, which is great. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go cross over to make my figure eight, cross over the front, to the back.
through the front. Make my middle. Switch. Through the loop. And pull. Okay, I'm going to adjust it to the center there. Pull it a little tighter. Put my two tails together. And I'm going to cut. And now I got a double loop, double bow. So cute. And again, you can see that letter C back. So that's how you create a double loop, double bow. And these will be great for, you know, your projects, hair accessories. You can put it on headbands, clips, so many things that you can, you know, create with these bows. You can even, if you like the single loop one, um, you can even, you know, wrap around a gift if you want. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. So I think that's really cool. So let's take these two pegs out. I'm going to remove this out. And I'm going to place that to the right helping hand peg. And now let's remove this. I'll put that to the back left helping hand peg. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a bow with some ribbon in the back so that you can wrap around your present. Okay, so we're going to take the slice again. We're going to create the single bow. Well, actually, I'm going to take some and I'm going to put it back here. So, I'll just measure about 13 inches, okay? So, it's about 13 inches. I'm going to take, I'm going to put it on the front. You can put the front or the back. I'm just going to put it in the front. And I'm going to use my helping hand clips here. I'm going to hold those two here, okay? So that goes there, and then I'm going to create a single bow, put that on the back. Again, you're going to create your figure eight, okay? You're going to go over, but this time, you're going to go over both of them, okay? So now you're going to go over both of them. Let's see, I'm going to cut some of this out. I'm going to go over both of them. Oops. Oh, actually, no, you're going to go over, sorry. You're going to take this left one, that's going to go over through the back, through both of them. And you're going to do the same thing like you normally do. You're going to tie, you're going to switch, create your loop. Tie your bow. I'll just cut that out. Okay, and I'm going to remove this. And then you got this right here. It's really cool. And then you could wrap this around the box, and you got yourself a bow. Okay, so I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. Bye.